which are known to the Danish people. So friends, I hope uh, you have really understood that you, the I, is the most, most important person. Suppose I ask, who is the most important person in this gathering? Person you say, in any meeting and you have, usually to be polite, eh? oh Swamiji, you are the most important. Or the speaker of the evening is most important. Or the governor of the state is very important. No friends, that's a huge lie. If you are not here, it doesn't matter what happens in this place. Right or wrong? If you are not here, does it matter as a huge celebration, huge festival? It doesn't matter. You are the most important person. That doesn't mean I am the only important person. Everybody is as important as me. So that is why I don't try to say you are more important than others. We all are important people. And usually in our life, what has been done is we have been given importance not because of who we are, but because of what we have. And even one verse you see in Bhagavad Gita, he said, atomic. What Bhagavan says, Uddhared Atman Atman, Natmanam Abhasadre, Atmeva Atmano Vandhu Atmeva Ripur Atmana. Lift yourself by yourself because you are already lifted, uplifted. Sir, you cannot become timeless. Listen carefully. You cannot become all pervasive. All pervasive is here. I am a part of it. You can't be separated from creation. Can you stand separated from the creation? Like your own body? Can you say, Swamiji, I come to the glass. Can I go back? I, what happened? I forgot my ear and came. Did you? Can you forget a part there and come? Inseparable part. Physically, we are part of the macrocosmic universe. Macro. But we have been given importance not for the, because I am a part of the macrocosmic universe, call it Ishwar later on, we shall see. But because I am a landlord with a hundred acres, how stupid. I am a king, I am an emperor. What are you talking about? Mother Earth always smiles. That if everybody tries to own me, conquer me, keep me under control, but ultimately they come under me. Whether you are a king, emperor, big ranch owner, anybody, it doesn't matter. You go under it. So if this is something, each is because you are here, you see that, because you are here, everything is a mystery. Think please. That creation is there, is not a mystery. Because I am there, creation is a mystery. Right or wrong? Just think of it. Okay? That there is a creation is not a mystery. If I am not here, for whom is it a mystery? Are you getting that point? Really? Really? That there is a creator is not a mystery. I am here, creator is a mystery. Suppose I am not here. Today somebody is dead. You see that... Uh, near that, what is the Jula, uh, Ram, uh, Janaki Jula. How many people are getting burnt out every day? For those people, does it matter whether God exists or not? Creation exists or not? Makes no difference. As long as you are here, in your presence, they are mystery. In your absence, there is no, things, there is no such thing called mystery. So who is the greater mystery? I am the greater mystery. But I want to understand every other mystery except myself. How nice. Not only about the creation, but think about your family. With whom have you lived the longest time in your life? With whom have you lived the longest time in your life? Can you say my father, mother? No. Father, mother, you stay for school day. Once you go to college, they are, you are not with them. You got married much, I mean, 15, 20, 30 like that. 
even your husband and wife also, you have not lived the longest. One person you have lived the longest is you. With your body, with your mind. You have lived the longest with your body, your mind, and you remain a mystery to yourself and you want to understand everybody. How? How? That is where you are completely sidetracked. And there are two ways of getting sidetracked. Secular and religious. Material, physical universe is a secular dimension. The people who believe in creation, they don't believe in a creator. There are many secular people are there, right? They don't, everybody doesn't believe in God. And also everybody doesn't take care of the world for them. There is no single God, but I shall take care of the creation only secularist. Food should be there. <laughs> you know, roads should be top class. Houses should be top class. Medical facilities should be there. So with these things you are taken care of, everything is taken care of. You do not understand. You can take care of your physical body. The disease can go. But I am diseased, you cannot take it. Get out of it. I am dying, you cannot take it away. See that, friends. Absolutely face yourself. Face yourself. One voice that shall haunt you for the rest of your life is I. There are two types of obsession in our time. Secularist, secular obsession. Everybody should have a good house, good car. Fantastic. Nothing wrong in that. And the religious people, they believe in a, they believe in a God. Think. They believe in a God. Creator. So the people who believe in a creator, they laugh at the scientists but use their things. The people who believe in only in the uh, secular world, but they have also their conflict. Why? Because secular role, religious role are two roles. Secular belief, religious belief are two roles. I can be a secularist. I can be a religious person. Do you have a faith or you are a faith? Anybody born branded? Born with a faith. Back, stamped. And Om, cross, moon and star, wheel. Anybody born branded? Your body is not branded. What to talk of mind? You pick it up. It's a religious identity. Then my religious identity is better than yours. My faith is, hey, you are a person who is believing in something. Why do you say your belief is better than my belief? Forget that. Give importance to the person, individual, I. Am I talking sense or nonsense, friends? Think of it. Somebody defends God as though if you don't defend God, you're going to die. Somebody defends this world. Are you defend yourself? You must Know about yourself. That is why Bhagavan so nicely says, Uddharet, Atmanam, Atmana, Uddharet. He didn't say, I'll fix you up. No. You can't fix him up. Because the person is already fixed. All that you are wanting to do that, you have, whatever you are looking for is already with you. Because we do not know ourselves. If I ask you, who are you, what shall you say? Never the person shall say who you are, who I am. All the time we have been brainwashed or programmed to identify ourselves with the things that we have. You have got a name. We'll go into a little more details on that. Because of that type of obsession, these hunger, these uh, Emotions, jealousy, anger, disease, pride, everything is there. We'll make it very simple, friends. When we are living in this world, there was a time when there were diseases, right? Hundred years down the line, the hundreds of people are dying in cholera, smallpox, plague. And what people were thinking? This is curse of God. Right? God cursed us. 
so that is where the religious were religious religions were getting upper hand because if you believe in my god you are cured if you don't believe in my god you are destroyed it's all absolutely ridiculous ideas think of it but then what happens some people did not like it you know why is so that I, because i don't believe in god i shall suffer why that man is suffering why that man is not suffering our swam Pujya Swami has always given an example. I can't talk it in very, very nice Tamil. He's a missionary when they convert. Right? Because he was believing in this, he was cured. Because he did not believe in that God, that is why he died. I mean, this is a ridiculous nonsense you can give it to people. Some people did not like it. How come God is killing people? So what did they do? They saw some people having disease. Some people are not having it. So they took the blood sample of the diseased person also the blood sample of the healthy person in a healthy person's blood sample everybody is same in a diseased person's sample there is a virus one pathogen so then isolated that pathogen in the presence of this fellow this virus like covid in the presence of this one there is a disease in the absence of this there is no disease so whom should we kill the person or the virus ah, you understand shall you kill the person kill the virus so the previously people are afraid who oh, you, you if i don't believe in god i am going to get this one i don't believe in this that is what the orthodoxy around the world were frightening the hell out of everybody if you have also say somebody said that uh, earth is not the center of the universe galileo was excommunicated they would have already killed him lucky the person escaped which if any religious faith that must be given priority why because they are god's agent think friends god is a totally different thing where as in the creation of which i mean inseparable part that type of ishwar also you should see of which you are an inseparable part never never an individual can exist away from the totality when you say the earth are you not included please touch the earth come on touch the earth come on i see so sweet thank you man you touch the earth immediately by habit hand goes to down so are you not earth when you say earth are you not included all the continent all the continents all the countries every inch of it included so where are you earth is here but this much is not earth are you getting that point earth is here but this much is not earth god is here but this much is not god don't isolate it ocean is here in every drop ocean shines but don't equate one drop as the ocean but the, that drop is also an inseparable part of the ocean to see your oneness in a drop you are free so same thing happens here understand friends so when you are talking about god some people believe in god so what do you say god only punishing so when some scientist or some investigators they investigated observed and then isolated the virus and kill the disease with the killing the disease god is dead why why should i believe in him now i can fix the disease that is how the honeymoon with disbelief began why you trying to imagine a god for that there is a very interesting story one day a few of these uh, secularist or the few of those uh, hardcore uh, naturalist uh, we don't believe in god nothing is a story they want to have a meeting with god they say, how please retire don't be around you are not needed we can we can do the cloud seeding rain will come we can kill the disease virus disease will go we shall also make the um, lot of uh, food food stop can be raised everything we can do that no question of doubt or no question of any type of cloud we will um, put the you know all the dams and other things why don't you retire god said oh very good so what all i do you can do Say yes, all right. He took up a handful of sand, clay. I said, okay. 
create a man out of this. He took a handful of clay, create a man out of it. Immediately the scientist grabbed the clay. No, no, bring your clay. Bring your clay. You use my clay and tell him I am not there. The story I am telling you, friends, this is garbage. I mean, this is some type of a delusion, God delusion. Not that type of God. We are sitting down somewhere and pushing everywhere, directing one missile around everybody. You don't believe in me? Boom. It is not the God puts that fear. It is the believer who puts that fear. Because he is going to get something out of it. God is not angry. What type of God if he gets angry? And what type of God if I stand separate? What type of God is he? His presence, my in my presence, he is limited. If I am separated from him, in my presence he is limited. My separate presence shall limit him. What way is better than my uncle? Not that type of idea. Anyway, friends, we shall see that. So there are two sets of faith goes on in the world. One is a secular faith, other is a religious faith. Secularist obsession with secularism. Money, development, uh, forest, uh, very good. Nothing wrong. And the religious people are another type of fanatic. This is the God and no other God. God is a boy. Why wrong with you? What is wrong with you? God became a woman. What is wrong? Or God is only in one place somewhere, standing somewhere. What is that fair? What is that for? So the secularist is obsessed with the secular beliefs. The religious person is obsessed with the religious belief. In these two things, please understand, friends, with these two obsessions, secularist obsession with secular view of the universe and the religious person's obsession with the religious creator view of the universe, individually sacrificed at the altar of obsession. Individually sacrificed. Are you getting that point, please? Either you should be this side or that side. Either it should be secular or should believe or a religious person. Why can't I be secular also or religious also? Religious means that which is all pervasive. The secular too. Everything is divine. Why can't I be secular? Because I can see these things and make use of it. I can believe in a name. Nameless also is fine. Believe in a form. Formless is fine. You are at once. Are you getting that point please? You are at once all pervasive. All inclusive. This is the right word. You are at once all inclusive. The faith in God is as fantastic as even the absence of it. Why? If my individuality drops out, which we shall see all that, friends, where is the God? I am not here. Don't drop God. Drop yourself. Everything will drop out. Understand that. So I am the most important person. Please let it get into a skull. Deliberately, I'm using that word. Because we have been so wishy-washy. Oh, I am a good man. If I don't believe in you, what will happen? Oh, God is going to destroy you. God man will destroy you, not God. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. So I, each individual, I, in your absence, friends, creation is not a mystery. In your absence, creator also is not a mystery. If in my presence, creation is a mystery, I am the greater mystery. If in my presence, God is a creator is a mystery, I am the greater mystery. Without me, what is the sense of mystery in this universe? Is the pot one so mysterious pot? Is the flower is thinking, who made me? Just like without the virus, there is no disease. So if you want to destroy the disease, what should you do? Isolate the virus. In my presence, everything is a mystery. I am the virus. In my absence, nothing is a mystery. So which mystery I should resolve? Instead of resolving the mystery about myself, secular people are imposing more and more roles on me. Religious people also threatening and frightening me that if you don't believe in that God, some nonsense will happen after death. What are you talking? Both are frightening. That is why nothing like Vedanta Upanishads. 
Super. You are as much infinity, that much finite. You are as much all pervasive, that much of he is here. What is wrong with that? Because suppose you have got a big body, can you handle? Suppose your body, the room size, can you handle? Huh? It's nice to have a small body. So you can see, hear, taste, touch, do everything. Handle it. So what is most important for you? I. When you say I, please go into that. This I sense, where does it exist? Outside. As a child, I was very much uh, sort of uh, reading all the storybooks, storybooks. Story everybody must have read, you know, all that, everybody. While growing up, you know, know the fairy tales. As a one storybook, it was very nice. There was a, all, all, all usually, <laughs> it will be a princess in trouble and the prince is going to save, you know, that variety. So it's a very nice story. There was a princess in a kingdom and one evil magician, he comes, hijacks her, takes her away and goes. And imprisons her in a forest. Now the prince comes to know about it. So naturally the prince now, the knight in armor, so she is going to rescue the body girl. He goes there. And the lady says, please don't come here, don't come nearer me. The moment you come 10 feet nearer me, the fellow will appear. Yeah, that, that, that's his arrangement. Anybody comes 10 feet nearer me, he will appear. So don't come. Then how am I going to rescue you? He said, we should kill that fellow. He said, you can't kill. He said, what do you mean I can't kill? Lady said, okay. I will try to find out. She said, use your female charm and better find out how the fellow is going to die. Because every day he is coming, he goes somewhere, comes back in the evening and asks her permission. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Every day he says, no, no, no. She says, no, no, no. And he goes away. But that evening when he came back, he asked the princess, Will you marry me? Of course. Ha! Ah, the fellow melted. Huh? He says, it's true. I want to marry. But look, I am in a jungle. You are always hanging around somewhere. I am alone here. Suppose one day you die. What will happen to me? Don't think like that. Nobody can kill me. Nobody can kill you. Everybody dies. No, my life is not here. Story for children, no. My life is not in my body. I have kept this life in a bumblebee. Nice story for children, no. I have kept my life in a bumblebee. And that bumblebee, you see the lake on the by side of which I have imprisoned you. In that lake, you see that there is a temple. This lake is full of crocodiles. Anybody wants to go there, crocodiles will polish him out. And once he reaches the temple, there will be snake, snake, snake. Snakes. Lot of snakes are there. They will kill him. And then, when he, there is a tunnel under the Shivalinga, if you go there, then there will be room after room after room. Story, no. Room after room after room. Box within a box within a box within a box. And the last box. The bumblebee is there. Anybody can kill it. I will be dead. Nobody can touch it, lady. Don't worry about it. Okay. In two days' time, I'll tell you. Now he was very thrilled. Next day, when the prince comes, it's very strong condition, sir. I don't think you can ever release me. It will be very, very difficult. See, you don't worry. I have got a magic sword. I'm going to kill some animals, throw these uh, dead bodies into carcass, into the pond. So when all the Crocodiles will be busy eating it. I swim and go there. And then I have the magic sword. Chuck, 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 chuck. Cut off every snake. No problem. Then I go, lift the shivali, go down there. And he did that. And reaching there, he cut that. By the, the moment he reaches that, nearby that, this fellow appears in front of him. But by the time he has got that bumblebee in his hand. So he said, come nearer. Mm. <laughs> Listen. Of course, he kills it, the fellow dies, takes the princess, and they walk into sunset after the marriage, right? That is the nonsense, goes on, romantic novel. Anyway, think that person had kept his life in a bumblebee. You take it and it's dead. You know, friends, what all you have done? 
you have too many bumblebees in your life. My husband, my wife, my son, my daughter, my grandson, my granddaughter, my business, my God. How many bumblebees you have? Anything challenged, do you feel challenged in life? Right or wrong, friends? Why do you feel challenged in life? Why do you feel challenged? If it's not yours. If that gone, you are gone. That is why you are frightened. In how many places you have put your life? Think of it, friends. How many, how many thoughts you have put in your life? If somebody disturbs, challenges your faith, you shall shoot him. What is the terrorist? Religious terrorist means what? If whatever they believe, that is the ultimate. Give me a break. What is this nonsense? You believe, okay, you believe in that, but why should you kill me for that? What is the idea? What type of God is that? What type of belief is that, friends? Your individuality has taken shelter in million forms. That is why your million, that is why your individuality can be shaken. Religious identity, secular identity, rich man, poor man, young, old, beautiful, ugly. Every nonsense is an identity. You have an identity, friends. Are you, do you understand? The moment I ask you, who are you? You will never tell who you are. First day you got a little hint of it. Who are you? What is this? Rose. This is not rose. What is this? It is this. This is it. Existence. You cannot name it. Naming it. Are you getting that point please? What is this? Indescribable. We are giving it a name. Basically, as you saw that day, the whole universe is a nameless expanse. A child told other day when we were studying in the school days, one fellow, our teacher asked, What is the name of the nearest star? And then one fellow said, uh, Children, naturally, we don't know. Then this teacher says, Proxima Centauri. You know that. Then one child asked, Sir, did that star tell you his name? Children can be smart. Children can be smart. Very smart. Once I was giving a program somewhere in Pondicherry. And because I was telling all these nice, nice stories, some children will come just to listen to the joke. <laughs> but they pick up ideas. So when I went there to their house for a dinner, the child is a fellow, small fellow, five, six year old. This Samaji, can I ask you a riddle? I said, of course, you can. Can you jump higher than this building? I knew there must be some nonsense there, <laughs> but I don't know what it is. So <laughs> he said, can you jump higher than this? No, no, surrender, surrender, give up. I can't, but can you? I can. A small kutti, idiot fellow, but I not a you know. I can jump. Oh, really? All right, let us see. The magician you are, jump. You know what he did? Just one feet he jumped. The building cannot jump. <laughs> the building cannot jump. So even if I did mm -hmm, little, that is higher than the building. <laughs> smart children, no. Smart, smart children. They, they are absolutely fantastic. Anyway, say, sir, did you give the name to the star? Now what the star can say? Child can ask this most inconvenient question. Who created this world? God. Who created God? Out. Then we have to say, don't be silly. Don't ask silly question. Question is silly or you are silly? Not knowing the answer. Think of it. So when you are, ask yourself, what is the most important thing in this creation to be known? In your presence, everything is a mystery. In your absence, Nothing is a mystery. When you sleep, what is your mystery? In your sleep, what mystery is bug bugging you? You are not there. Moments of happiness, what is bugging you? You know, those things you shall see later on, Samadhi and all that stuff. Nothing can touch you. So there is only one idea. Ahankar, I thought. Without which, 
There is no sense of mystery. So I is the biggest mystery. So you must know yourself. But before I even know about myself, the society, the knowledge, information, university studies, religious beliefs, completely have confused me. Hundreds of identities I have already got. Hundreds of identities. And you are in your life, friends, always given import importance, not for who you are, but for what you have. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Everybody complains. Nobody, nobody loves me. Oh, really? We'll see that sometimes also. Nobody loves me. I ask that person, really, nobody loves you? Oh, you wow. Okay, that nobody, does it include you? When you say nobody loves me, does it include you? First time somebody challenges you. I think so. If you don't love yourself, how are you dreaming that somebody loves you? For what? Even if somebody loves you, you cannot believe it because you think you are not lovable. You are your own destruction. You are your own obstacle. You will not allow people to get into your life because your life is empty. You don't love yourself. Loving yourself means what? You love the identity. You say, this person doesn't love me for what I am, who I am, but they love me for what I have. What about you? Do you love yourself for who you are or what you have? Why do you love yourself? I have a huge house. Ah, so beautiful. That house is yourself. Why do you love yourself? I am a strong, faithful person. I have got all these wonderful uh, beliefs. For God's sake, don't ever delude yourself. Depending on something, how can you be independent? Finding security in something, how can you be secured? Who you are must be seen as who you are. What is this? Inexplicable. You can't say. Existence is nameless. But long before we are initiated to ourselves, already thousands of identities have been given to us. Our name, our parentage, our belief, our society, our religion. What is a good thing? What is bad thing? What is right thing? What is wrong thing? You know, you, this, you understand, friends? If you really understand, you shall be wiped out. See, we are sitting down here. Now, suppose I say, what side of this house, what side of this hall is this? For me, left side. For those people, right side. For these people, back side. For these people, front side. So left, right, back, front. Which one? Which one? Unless there is a point of reference, there shall be no sides. And because you have got sides, we shall be continuously drowning, drowning, drowning. Have you seen the huge uh, um, ocean liner? One million ton ocean liner carrying fuel all over the world. Even that million ton ocean liner can be drowned in the Pacific Ocean, that storm, I mean, storm cyclone. Why? Because it floats on one side. Have you seen the innocent, stupid little coconut? Coconut cannot be drowned by the most, the highest, the biggest wave of the Pacific Ocean. Why? Floats all sides. It floats all sides. If you are a person who has a side, you shall be hit exactly there. You think you are a rich man. So other people say, hey, what? You are rich. The other fellow is richer than you. Oh. Oh, I am a very good man. Shut up. You did that. They will always put some dirt in the fresh flower. Have you not seen that? The moment you are stuck with an identity and you fall in love with that identity, find your security in that identity, any person shall always challenge that. And that is where you feel destroyed. And who shall you love? Whoever tells whatever you like to listen. That is why people can be psychophants. Psychophancy. You understand? Flattering. Oh, you are so nice. Yeah, what do you want? You understand? Think of it, friends. Every role, what all things you have, do not take that to yourself. Roles are needed, but the actor is more important. All the roles you must play. 
We are sitting down here, I am speaking, you are listening. You know, when you go out, go out, Swami so you like to come to with me, Delhi to where I drive. Okay, nothing to do, let's go. And now that you are teaching here, you also drive. You want to die? I don't know driving. Different time, different thing, different place. You play with your roles. Sometimes somewhere, sometimes in the top, sometimes bottom, sometimes nowhere. Nothing doesn't matter. But you are comfortable. Where? With every role, every thought, with everything in life. But long before this simplicity, the simple awareness about myself being given to me, already how you hundreds of identities are given. You must, when you grow up, be an astronaut. Be a, what is that, what is that uh, George, or you should be an engineer, you should be a doctor, you should be rich. So, as I am, I am an idiot. Huh? Think, friends, that you must be somebody. So, I am nobody now. I am nobody. Making me somebody, you are making me a prisoner of a role. I am as I am. Everybody is same. But everybody wants a role. Think, friends, please. And if somebody doesn't give you importance, how do you feel? Nobody cares for me. Are be happy that nobody gives you responsibility. Why enjoy without being responsible? Ha! Suppose somebody doesn't invite you for a marriage. Don't oh, that marriage was there, and he never invited me. Even Queen Elizabeth had come those days, some 30, 40 years back. I remember that joke. You can see she had come to India. And then one row, <laughs> he had also come to see that. So he thought he, he waved and he the Queen Elizabeth waved. She, she, then he said, I thought she knew, knew me. Now her son is getting married. Charles was getting married. Getting married, but he did not invite me. I thought she knew me. She waved her hand. I am not going to invite her for my son's marriage. When people don't want you, be very, very happy. A headache. <laughs> if without me, everything can run, continue. No. People want Avail Mujamar. I want to take the responsibility, kill myself, kill everybody also. What a headache. Be yourself. This simple thought. I, as long as it is not there as a child, think. As long as the child Child has no problem. And child is nobody's problem. Child is not a problem. Child is also nobody's problem. When this anger comes up. Why everybody likes children? Sit down. Get up. Go there. Go there. That four or five year old. Until that four year old. Children are so adorable. Why? Sit down. Sit down. Come. Come. Go. Go. After five, six years. Come here. <laughs> Yeah. Why? Then you say, God, I should not have married. I should not have got this rascal in my life. Because the question begins. Think, friends. What is that made him so adorable and suddenly the same fellow becomes a rascal? What happened? Individuality comes up. And a child, when he is growing up, he will hold mommy's hair, mm -mm, pulling, hitting the father also. Both father and mother, how they, oh, the child is so cute. Now growing up like, wow, wow, wow. Pulling your hair, kicking you. You are adoring him. But when he's 18, 20 year old, <laughs> he doesn't have to pull your hair or kick you. Just tell, I will kick you. You, Tejya Putra, you throw him out of the house. Why? Ahankar best. Only see that other people hunger. Look at yourself. How you have changed. Are you being yourself? Or you are a facade? Playing with your role? Who is creating your hunger? Listen, not hunger. Who is creating your disease? Listen, friends. There are two types of disease. One is physical. Physical disease. Physical disease is you have got uh, cholera, you know, and nowadays it's not there. You can't even talk about it. Anyway, smallpox, conjunctivitis, kidney failure, so many different types of diseases are there. Listen here. There are two types of diseases. Some are natural. Natural means virus-based. 
conjunctivitis. Suddenly your eyes are red eyes. Can you just blame somebody? Why did you get that? Why did I get it? I was going there and this fellow caught, up, caught me up. So you can't say that. Why did you get the uh, COVID? What nonsense are you asking? That's not my responsibility. It came up. But there is a lifestyle disease. What is lifestyle disease? Obesity. We are born 7, kilo, seven pounds. Now we are 700 pounds. Obesity. Highly diabetic, kidney failure, artery block. Which virus kills it? Which virus does it? Artery block. Which virus does it? You eat. It's a lifestyle disease. Lifestyle means what? I takes over. I am eating. I want to eat. Morning I told you. There is a huge difference between I feed my body and I eat. When you think you eat, the body goes for a sixer. Poor body will send you exact right type of sensation. You'll send when you are taking the food. One, two, three, gone. I have puzumba. But inside, one more vada. Who is one more vada? <laughs> one more sweet. Who, who is asking? Your uncle? No, 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 Swamiji, you don't know. There is a Mara. Mara means you know that. There is a Satan. There is a devil sitting down inside and tempting. That is another nonsense. You mean to say that you, you are not good enough for tempting yourself? You need one Satan, one Mara, one black horse, some nonsense? Your own mind <laughs> knocks you out. Please don't try to pass on the buck. Why did you eat? Your stomach said, no, podum, enough. Your tongue is tight because too much of sweet. When you have pickles, you have to eat Right? Why? Who does that? Friends, this is life. You can catch yourself. If you don't catch yourself, what will you do? My mommy only fed me. My uncle only did that to me. My girlfriend did that. My boyfriend did that. This religion killed me. This obsession with this asana, that asana destroyed me, really. So you are all absolutely innocent. Huh? Please, that's why I say, you go back from this class, have fun, little watch that game that's going on inside. The biggest drama, the loveliest movie in your life is inside your head. The loveliest movie. Any type of emotion you can play it out. Any type of thing. Fear, anxiety, anything. And absolutely blissful also. Huh? Moment you are blissful, play with every type of thoughts, every type of emotion. What's wrong with that? You create the emotions, then you blame the emotions. It's like a Frankenstein. You create it, then hold everybody responsible for it. Very nice. Will you take that responsibility, please? In your house, you are there. Who is making the mess in that house? Take that one here, put that one there, put this one there. You're making a mess out of that house. In your head, who is messing around with your thought? Think. When you are sitting down quietly, who is Messing around with your thought. Who is commenting? My guru only destroyed him. Oh, really? He told there is nothing wrong. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> you didn't like it, right? You know, you always take the advice that is convenient for you. Somebody can give you a suggestion. Swallowing it or not swallowing it is your choice. Your mother has told you so many things while growing up. Don't drink. Don't smoke. Don't hurt people. Don't take advantage of people. Be very kind. How many you have followed? 
nothing. But suppose he said, you must be successful, get your money. Lock, stock, barrel. Every word you follow it, why? I should be rich. Ask your mother, ask your father, ask your people. Okay, you are educated. We should ask that question. I am educated, I am rich, I want everything. Did it solve my problem? Did it solve my problem? As long as I was changing, it was fantastic. Changing a dream is fantastic. Getting it in your hand is boredom. As long as you are changing, it is so exciting. But once you get it in your hand, ah, ah, you get bored. Whether it is an object or a girl or a boy, living thing or non-living thing. Changing is fantastic. But once you are in the hand, negligence begins. Who does it? You. But you shall blame what? Some like that boy is not you now in our generation. Mahabharata time also. That boy, what is his name? Duryodhana. What is it? Janami dharmam na jame prabhuti. Janami adharmam na jame nibhuti. Kenapi deve na rudhisthite na yatha inu yukta si yatha karvami. I know what is right, can't follow it. I know what is wrong, can't resist it. Some god <laughs> or some poor sitting down in here, as he engages me, that is how I do. That means you are absolutely flawless. God is criminal. All natural forces are criminal. Father is criminal. Suppose you examination, you pass. What do you say? I studied. Suppose you fail, examiner was drunk. <laughs> the teacher never taught. The mommy always will send me for marketing when I am going to study. Everybody has to be blamed. Your marriage works out? We did it. Did not work out? That middleman was a rascal. That mommy only forced me. Papa only forced me. If it works out, we did it. How nice. For God's sake. Take your responsibility. One thought you have to handle. With that thought, has got million roles. Bahurubi. Bahurubi. So many things. Nobody is introduced to me, but they already given me hundreds of roles. So every role I act on, some problem comes up. You are angry, with your anger you kill people. You are jealous, you destroy people. You are frightened, you destroy yourself, destroy others. Who does it, friend? Please. Please. Who does it? It's not necessarily only secular people do it. Religious people much more dangerous. Why? My God is better than your God. Give me a break. My faith is better than this faith. This is the only God who shall take you to heaven. Keep your God with yourself. I don't want to go to a place. I want to be all over. That is why Upanishad's friends is an amazing dimension. That the other day I quoted that verse, no? Atmanam jid vijaniyat ayam asmiti purusha kimichan kashya kama ayam sarira manusat jure. If you know yourself about who you are, desiring what? Desiring for whom? Unnecessary torturing your body or torturing the whole world. Happy with yourself. Then live with your body. Because you think food is giving me pleasure. Eat, 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 eat and then obese, blood pressure. Heart attack, die. And not that you will be living forever just because you are a good boy. Don't worry. We do. You know, uh, one fellow was an 80, 90 year old fellow, he went to a hospital. And all the <laughs> lipid profile, blood profile, everything, he did it. And the doctor said, it's super, it's fantastic, everything is cool. Everything, you are on your top health. Then he said, doctor, do you mean to say I am dying of good health? <laughs> Because it is going to go. Just because you are taking care of the body, that does not mean body will last forever. No, no, no. And the person says, I shall miracle cure. His own miracle cure he can do for himself. Right? He says, I will cure everybody. What about yourself? Why are you dying? 
I don't know how millions of people will follow for you. Some place I had gone there, delivered them. When is the memory is falling, falling back. So I'm talking to you, friends. One person came and asked me, you know, some place. Swamiji, can you cure? I knew. Why shall he ask me for curing? It must be some disease, no. He said, can you cure? I said, yes, I can cure, but I won't cure you. Just I wanted to take the hell out of him. A bit shake him, shake him, Mr. Kakao. I said, I can cure, but I will not cure you. Oh, he felt very bad. I said, no, don't worry about it. What is the problem? No, no, I have certain disease. I said, please tell me, are you afraid of a disease or you are afraid of death? Of course, disease. That much people don't know. Are you afraid of disease? Suppose you have got cold, common cold, like Swami will say, without, without medicine, one week. With medicine, seven days. <laughs> right? Are you afraid of cold? No. It's not going to kill you. But you are afraid of cancer. Why? The whole body is going to die. Uh, so are you afraid of disease or death? Then he said, death. I said, I can take away your fear of death. Interested? No. How many people are interested in curing the fear of death? Who is afraid? I. Once you are seeing that, Know about yourself. Condition of the body. Enjoy. Now it is sunshine. Now it is cold. We came here. How much the weather is changing in Rishikesh? My God, first three days it was a disaster. Whew. Never they came out of the room. It is so cold, God. You know, now it is changing. Now, it is, oh, so hot. Are so if it is hot, it is so hot. If it is cold, it is so cold. Now, what are you going to manage? <laughs> That is why Sukha Dukhe Sami Kutva. Lava ala bo jaya jari. Tato yudhaya ujjasya. Naiva papa ma apshas. Yudhaya ujjasya. Fight for fighting sake. Live for living sake. Not for happiness sake. That you should find it in yourself. We will see that. So one person has to be clearly understood. That is, I thought, because you friend that I is the most important thing in you. In the whole creation. In the absence of my body, I have no sense of mystery. Body has no sense of mystery. Organs have no sense of mystery. All thoughts have no sense of mystery. Only I thought. Can you isolate it? Catch it? Very difficult, no? Why? You get away from this place. I'm not being critical, please. You get away from this place immediately after the class. Even so much people are obsessed with it. Early morning, get up, hand will be going here and there. Where is that cell phone? By then, the cell phone is not there. The fellow has got a withdrawal symptom. Right? Like a drug addict, you are like a phone addict. So if you are continuously looking at the phone, you mean the hand is picking it up or the message is coming from the upstairs? The eye is so busy in playing little roles, totally losing himself, it has no time to look at himself. That is why you need discipline. Religious discipline. You know, discipline. Why don't you think this much? If I am doing this, who is suffering? I am suffering. Shall I suffer? No. Dump it. Even if I am suffering, I must do it. One fellow went to a doctor. And as he went to the doctor, said, Okay, sir, tell me. Then he got a call. The doctor got a call. Yes, uh, what are you doing? How are you now? Uh, sir, fine. The, what the medicine you took, what had happened, and that's fine going on. So shall I take something else? Okay, okay, do that. Three, four minutes gone. Then he says, sorry, sorry, please tell me what happened first. So he says, again, he's going to start, again, another call. So the doctor talked to the other person also, four or five minutes, and then said, uh, sorry. Now, please tell me. Again, he has started, another call. 
Let me talk to you again. He said, no, no, I'm going to switch it up. And you talk. The fellow got up and want to go away. So what are you going? <laughs> I'm going to give you a call. <laughs> I am here. You have no time for me. But whoever is calling their gate, have you not seen people doing it? <laughs> oh, you are so busy, governor of the state. Think, friends. It's a total disrespect for the guy who is sitting around you. You call a friend, he is with phone, you are with your phone. Why did you meet? Why did you meet? You come here, you are with the... Previously, people are stuck in the mind. Now the mind is transplanted in this nonsense. This fellow, complete mind transplantation is here. That is why by chance he lost. You like a, you know, you are like a drunkard. Addict. Withdrawal symptom. Phone. The moment you go there, how many people must have asked? Not here, everywhere. Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is there? Where is the Wi-Fi? Really? You can't live without that? No, no, friends, I'm not talking anything. You choose. You choose. This discipline, discipline is a nonsense. If you enjoy. Man, if I don't get obsessed like that, who enjoys? Me. So why should I need a discipline for that? Discipline means what? Resistance. I don't want to do it, but I must have a discipline. Oh, she's very strict. He's telling, don't listen, don't do, don't do. Somebody should say that. Somebody should tell you, you should not suffer. If I am suffering, who is the cause? I am the cause. Dump it. It comes from thought level. And which thought? Only one thought. Are you getting that point? Only one. That is why that shloka, that, um, what is that, um, Advaita Makarna, Ahamasmi, Sadabhami, Kadachit Nahama Priya, I am always. One thought, Aham, the meaning of the word, not the word, the meaning of the word, always there. As I told you, the name doesn't create anything. <coughs> Always there, always shining, always source of bliss. We will see that part of it. So, before we get into the world, analyzing the emotions, analyzing the world, analyzing creation, analyzing creator, first focus we all must be on I. Because I am the most important. In my presence, everything happens. In my absence, Nothing happens. So catch it. Take an example of life. A mummy, suppose the mummy is a doctor, mother is a doctor, the child is born. If the mummy is a doctor, it makes it easier. Why? The child is born. That does not mean he should not be afraid anything. Because if you feed it, the machine starts working and then there is loose motion, there is fear, there is fever and all that stuff. So can you stop therefore feeding him? No. If you feed him, there will be some disorder. His body will adjust. If the doctor knows, these are the disorders, so I must know how to take care of it. So until 5-6 years old, if you can stabilize that body, next 40-50 years, maybe he's alright. Listen carefully. We are all born like babies. No thoughts. No identity. But if we start giving identity, there shall be a problem. So therefore, shall we stop giving identity? Shall we stop giving information? Shall we stop giving education? But the moment you give the education, what happens? It has a side effect. Side effect is amgar. In the sociology, they define education like this. That which, what is education in sociological language is a beautiful explanation. What is education? That which rescues the individual from mass of collectivity and gives him a definite identity. That is education. Sociology defines it. That which rescues the individual from mass of collectivity. When you are not educated, you are one among billion people. Tom D. Gary. One among billion people. But the moment you are educated, you are rescued from the mass of collectivity, anonymity. You are no more just one among the millions. 
वर्षवंशो पीएचडी स्वर्णशो इंजीनियर स्वर्णशो लिंग्विस्ट डांसर म्यूजिशियन यार ये कितना पॉइंट इट गिव्स यू ऑन स्पेसिफिक आईडेंटिटी सो दिस इज़ द साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ़ द नॉलेज व्हेन यू गेट दैट देन फ्रॉम दैट डे व्हाट यू डू विजिटिंग कार्ड विजिटिंग कार्ड मिस व्हाट नॉनसेंस राइट ऑल दैट यू हैव इंडियन मैरिजेस यू मस्ट हैव सीन राइट there is a marriage in india everywhere around the world also they will be doing that it doesn't matter whether it is advertisement or all that when a marriage advertisement what you, what you, what do you say about yourself do you say who you are or what you have 6 feet 5 inches the body that you have six figure seven figure salary in million green card holder Meaning immediate transportation to America. Decent marriage promised. Meaning wealth will come. Don't ask. All that you are writing is about this boy, girl, this color, that color, educated, this job, black, dark, or white, or whatever, seventy, ninety, hundred, whatever rubbish you know, the shape and size. All that she has. So you marry the person for what he has, you marry the person for what she has. Later on, after marriage, you discover who he is: drunk, fighter, suspicious, miserable, not a, a group person, lady, useless, movie, 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 food, food, food. Every time I must must have decoration, this decoration, that decoration. Hi yo, what did I do? Ah, too late. <laughs> you marry no no friends, just think it. You marry the person for what he has, what she has, and will anybody ever tell? I am drunk, angry, short-tempered, jealous. How many things you will get? How many you will get? Tell the truth. Nobody will look at him. So fake, fake, fake. You understand fake identity. We all are living in a world with a fake identity, and tells other people that everybody is a fake. Everybody is a fake. If you don't know who you are, you are a fake, absolute fake, because you don't know who you are. If you are looking at yourself through your roles, are you not fake? Like the very costly watches these days. You know, you have heard that the costly watches. Imitation watches, imitation jewelry. Imitation jewelry means what? People will know. Wow, look at that boy! Oh boy, look at that watch! Oh boy, right? But you know it is fake, right? So when you put up a dress, you put up something. What are you doing? Trying to impress people for who you are. You very smile. Hello, how are you? Please sit down. Oh, this lady is very smiling. This boy is so sensitive, so nice. Ah, after two days, what happens? And uh, Can you get me a coffee? Why you can't bring? Ah, huh? correct. Right. You know, friends, it's just life. You marry the person for what he has or what she has. Fake identities. Until you are aware of yourself, you will be cheating yourself all the time. And to be aware of myself means what? I must know what I want in life. Long before you get into emotion, first you know what you want in life: the happiness. That's the big subject. We shall do that because with that only other things can be handled up. No problem. So appreciate who are you? Shall I know it? Yes. But friends, if you ask somebody, come here. Yes. Who are you? How will you feel? Rude, no? <laughs> Especially in America, they'll shoot you. You get into that. Uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Um, Halloween. One person some two years back. It is some years. Any time it has happened. Somebody goes in a Halloween dress to the some person's house. He says, "Who are you?" He doesn't say anything. He shoots him down. Shoots him down. Because he thinks some fellow is coming. He tried to impress, and he is totally. Destroyed. Most of our people, what we do, we pick up these identities. When you 
you show your degree that you have when you are going to job what do you show degree that you have university you had gone to previous experience whatever you had you go there you get in to get in you will crawl once you get in you pull to get in you will crawl but once you get in ha huh, very difficult like many people converting religions to get in is very easy they will be wow miss sweet mr sweet everybody oh, so nice and once you get in say i am going out the god will punish you remove your skin and put uh, what is that <laughs> chili in that you know what type of fear the people put in the religious people that is why first when i understand clearly hey true who is the most important person in my life in this world in this house whatever happens makes no difference if you are not here extension in this world who is the most important person in uttarakhand not the chief minister you who is the most important person in india not the governor prime minister all that stuff you who is the most important person in the world you who is the most important person in the universe it is you it's not something patting in back it's a fact this is what known as uddhareda atmanatma you are no way lesser to anybody because who you are is an incomparable dimension who you are who i am who everybody is same what we have differences are you getting that point what you have you have a name i don't have a, another name you have a body i have another body how many identities you have how many roles you have and every role is a fake is a mask but we have to exchange mask we have to go everywhere showing our mask right so who make you fake if you go to a religious you go to a teacher vedant upanishad teacher that is what the upanishads do the teachers what do they do they don't give you another mask if you collect that aham am i am brahman and you stay with that that becomes a mask if you know the truth aware of it that name doesn't matter most people go to religious practices nowadays i am doing morning i get up and like this i am doing singing this song and doing that this right so if one day you cannot do again same withdrawal symptom can i didn't chant today no i do my asana today what is this obsession for you to be you what rules you need for your body to be body which dress you need on your body for you to be you you shall see that meaning of the word i tomorrow meaning of the word i amazing for you to be you what name you need what thought you need what identity you need what qualification you need so when people say you must be somebody so i am nobody ah huh? very good you are already somebody how beautiful part of the universe ishwara ईश्वरी If I am going to introduce you to who you are, what you had, how does it matter to me? Are you getting that point? That is why compassion, acceptance of anybody, even if it was a criminal, so what? Even if somebody is like that, that is compassion. Ahitu ka daya sundam guru anamatam satam. That is what Swami Ji was. Nobody rejected. Nobody rejected. Rascal also. What to do? the one thing you happen friends with this wisdom is you drop your defense self defense drops out so people come and hit you they will try to destroy your role they try to destroy your image they try to do it but it doesn't make any difference 
because you don't defend yourself. Oh, you are a rascal. Yes. If I'm infinity, can I not be rascal also? In your perception, in your perception. And even if the person blames you, you don't tell he's a rascal. Why? I know you are the truth as much as I am. That is why total acceptance of the universe as it is. How beautiful. Can anybody touch you, sir? Go ahead. Roles have their limitations. So therefore, when you appreciate this one I, you shall see, we shall see tomorrow, that uh, how do I, when I know myself, what will happen? Deham Puthak Kutya. By separating yourself from everything that you have, learning to know yourself as you are, just close your eyes, friend, please. Learning to know yourself as you are. Everything that comes and goes in life, friends, is something which you have. If it comes and goes, you have it. Wealth comes and goes. Youth comes and goes. Memories comes and go. Positions come and go. Your thoughts come and go. Your being conscious doesn't come and go. name comes to an end. Nameless. Information comes and disappears. You pick up the information on Vedanta Upanishad or any subject for that matter. Because it is thought oriented knowledge. When the thoughts go away, you don't know what to talk. Because what did you remember? That thought doesn't come in the right time. So you don't know what to do. Whereas when you see yourself as you are, any time you are that. It's not thought oriented, thought based. Your being Any name shall fit in. No name shall cling to it. have a thought, you have to wait for it. To listen to a sound. Suppose I tell you, please listen. When I say, please listen, you shall wait for my speech. Are you waiting for silence? You are waiting in silence. in your head, inside, in your thought realm. You can wait for a thought to come in or go in. Can you wait to be conscious? And that is something. All that you are looking for in life. Happiness, fulfillment, security, immortality, everything is in you. We shall see that tomorrow.
Acho que é isso que eu vou fazer de mix. Fiz de arroz de carne frita. Please just develop the idea and stay one. One idea, start working on it. Thank you for doing so.